you I have a stepchild I wouldn't do the same thing to them. Well, you say you wouldn't do. What did he do that would make you feel so even, angry he, that you could come here and say things that would hurt your mother? Even if you lied to us for a benefit, it would have been better. I don't know what I said to hurt her. Just to Walda. Why don't you feel you owe the money to your stepfather? Because I felt like when he loaned me the money that he didn't intend for me to pay him back. When I told him that I did not have all of it, he told me I don't think you had it at all, so I don't understand the reason why someone would help me if they think that I wasn't able to be able to so pay it back. So that's the reason why you feel like you don't owe him any money because he didn't expect you to pay him back? Yes, because right after I was told that I can't come over at all anymore and I wasn't to be around. So you had 15 days to pay him back, correct? Yes. He sent you a reminder on the 13th day. Yes. Did you say anything on the 13th day when he reached out and said, hey, in two days you owe me the money? No. But you did say something on the day it was due, yes. right? And what'd you say? I said I have to uh, work on getting the money. I don't have all of it. So you, on the 15th day, still believed you owe him money. Whatever day it is today, you don't believe that anymore. No. What changed between that day and now? Because he didn't think that I had it. I had it some money. You, you don't believe what you're it. actually saying, right? No, I do. Your stepfather didn't have to give you anything. He didn't. And I and wish he that did. he didn't if he was going to take me to court. If it was going to be complications like me moving into my apartment and, you know, I might have other things that I may need to pay for that I was unaware of, if it was going to go to court and all this, I would have not even taken the money at all, honestly. I would have stayed in Riverside and figured it out. What are you upset with your mother for? My mom stopped talking to me after the event. She texted me in regards, but she started acting differently from how she was acting beforehand. And you don't think that she has a reason to? Well, for one, um, Children's Services was called for my other son, and I wasn't even aware of it because they failed to let me know. All of my mail, which was going to the house, they told me to switch my address, and they start sending it back. So it's certain things that I feel like could have been done a little bit differently in regards to I didn't even get a chance to explain myself or tell them that I had some of the money and I was going to give them the rest of what I owed them. Things probably could have been handled differently. Yes. On your end, their end. But in the end, we're here because he loaned you some money. You took said money. And it is your testimony today that you do not owe him a dime. Yeah. Wow. Mr. Sparks, when did you become a stepfather to Mr. Lowe? In 96, 1996. About how old were you at the time? Probably about one or two. I mean, I noticed in some of the text messages you called him dad. Yeah. This wasn't a man that came into your life when you were already an adult. This is dad, essentially. Yeah. You told us that you've been ostracized from the family. Who else has this harmed your relationship with? Well, all my siblings live in the household. I don't really have a relationship with them at the moment. They pretty much stay home. Um, that's the only time I really was seeing them or going over there. Victor always wants to be or portrays to be the victim in everything. We've helped him for years. Whenever he's needed money, He's called either his mom. Lately, he's been calling me, and we help him. And his siblings don't talk to him much because he owes them all money. So it hurts me to stand here and listen to him lie like he's lying and make this up. You'll never be able to recapture this moment. You have a chance to resolve it in a good way. I have nothing further. Do any, any of you have any further? No. We're going to adjourn now to deliberate on this matter. The parties are excused. Courtroom is now in recess. Families are complicated. Step families sometimes can be even more complicated. To be honest, I didn't really see a white hat and a black hat, but I saw a defendant who I think was really misguided. At the end of the day, there's no real dispute that he owes him this money back. Yeah. I think it is pretty clear that the discussion they had was that it would be paid within 15 days, and the texts bear that out. You know, we could kind of unpack this family relationship if we had all day, <laughs> maybe some different degrees than we do. <laughs> but I think as a legal issue, this is pretty straightforward. I agree wholeheartedly. Judge Corriero, you gave the defendant a chance to I, I hope. make things right. And I, 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 don't know, I some, hope. Sometimes you try to turn a little knob on inside. Sometimes it yeah. turns on, it, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. So I guess our verdict is for the full amount, $5,000? Yes. Yep. And it's unanimous. Yes. This court is again in session. You know, gentlemen, this is a case where if it were within our power and ability to bring this family back together, we would do it. But we can't. That's not what we're here to do today. So we encourage you to find some way to bridge this gap, bring this family back together. But as for the legal issue, it's a pretty open and shut issue. Given the fairly undisputed evidence of the loan and the time period within which it was supposed to be paid back, the judgment of the court today is in favor of the plaintiff for the full amount being requested, $5,000.